I'm so proud, obviously, to have won the World Championship 20 years ago. I know it's crazy when you say it like that because it feels like yesterday. I knew 2003 was my opportunity to win the world title. I had Ruben uh, Zaus as my teammate. I knew it was going to be between me and him. I knew it was my opportunity. I wasn't going to let the opportunity slip by. I put a lot of pressure on myself to start the season strong. And when I started to win, I think everybody else thought my bike was better than theirs. It wasn't. In fact, my bike was worse, I thought. They'd found some speed. The handling was not good, especially on fast corners. It felt very nervous on the front. I had some horrible like wobbles. The tires were really good and that helped me a lot. It was interesting having Ruben as a teammate. We both knew that it was our opportunity to win the world title. He's a tough character. He was very aggressive. When you race with Ruben, he wouldn't give you any space. Off the track, sometimes we were friends. If he beat me, he was my friend. If I beat him, he wasn't my friend. I had a few rivals in 2003. Um, my main one was obviously Ruben's house. But James Tolson was, a, was a, a strong competitor. James was still learning really how to ride a superbike properly. He had a strong season finishing third in the world. But, um, but James, there was never any hatred. We were always friends. So James rode hard on the track, I rode hard. As soon as the race finished, I had never had any problems with it. I think the, the, the full key was the, a combination of a, of, a, of a good bike, but it was my, my opportunity in a prof, per full factory team. I worked with uh, Ernesto Marinelli, who was my crew chief, who was a major part of the development of the 999 and, and the way the project went forward. I think it's key to have, I had Davide Tardozzi as my team manager and Paolo Ciabatti was there and people with an expectation to win. They put pressure on me to win but they also give me the guidance and confidence. The best weekend was, um, I did the double winning both races in Monza and I'd always loved Monza, it was one of my favourite circuits the history of that track, the beauty of racing on Monza on those long fast straights going around the crazy parabolica and the bikes all moving. And across the line, it's going to be oh so close. Neil's on wheels first, the Fiat second, I think. To win both races there was something so special. It was at home in Italy, you know, riding for Ducati. That was like a dream. I look back at the the, my championship winning year, I had a lot of success, a lot of wins, a lot of podiums. But you remember the bad races. To this day I sit and think, wow, when I crashed in Misano on lap two, what a waste, I could have won that race. Or when James Tozlan beat me in a battle, um, which was the first time I'd been beaten that year, I wish I'd done something different. Right, the front wheel down with all the power, 175, 80 brake horsepower. Hodson in nine races and led 170. And he's through. Unbelievable stuff. I don't know where that came from. All of a sudden, just a late lunch and they're banging elbows with each other. These teammates are pushing real hard. The weekend that I won the championship at Assam was the most bizarre weekend. Uh, three days before, my wife had given birth to my daughter, Holly. And it, it was my first ever child. Then I had to try and compose myself, arrive at Assen, and I knew I had the opportunity to win the world title. I knew it was, if I finished the first race in the top three, I was world champion. It was hard to concentrate, that's the truth, really. I'm still angry because in the race, I was in a really good battle with Ruben. I planned to pass him in the last corner and I, on the penultimate corner, I was too fast and I went off the edge of the track and it meant I had to shut the throttle. I won the World Championship, but I was disappointed. Obviously, I was happy I celebrated once I'd calmed down, but the initial reaction was disappointment. Well, good ride. Uh, tens, eh? Oh, just tens. Too. Like, I, don't want, I don't want to, you know. World Superbike Champion 2003, what are your thoughts? Oh, that was, oh, just, I made up, just a real tough race, I was so tense, I've been relaxed all weekend and it was like every bit of tension was in that race then, I just, 
I rode like a novice. Oh, every muscle was pumped up, you know what I mean? I just could not relax. There's too much on my mind with it, you know what I mean? I just wanted to be world champion so bad. 20 years of racing, so um, it's taken a, a long time to get here, you know what I mean? But I'm here finally, and I just I feel fantastic. After the first race, I was world champion. Then the second race, I had a good battle with Ruben and I won. And then I could relax. Then I let the emotion and my guard down. And then it was just incredible. All my friends and family were there. We had a massive party. Just the best feeling. The realization of winning the second race. I am world champion. No one can take it away from me. What dreams are made of. <laughs>